And we are back in the kitchen with Chef Mark Schutman this Friday, who is here to celebrate a very special day. It's yeah. National Cuban Day. It is a national uh, sandwich as its own holiday. Yeah. Who knew? But uh, the Cuban is a very nice sandwich, a very simple sandwich. It doesn't require a lot of attention. It doesn't want to have to look fantastic all the time. It's a very <laughs> simple, simple, and great for the Midwest. Originated somewhere, obviously Cuba, but then infiltrated Miami area, kind of the yeah. Tampa area. So it's got a lot of variations. The neat thing about it, you can do whatever you want with it, make it your own. I'm going to kind of make it a very classic style of roasted pork shoulder. When you see it served with pork, some people use a pork loin, some oh. people use different kinds. This is a pork shoulder bone in. It's in the recipe. We just braise that in the oven to a point where it almost falls apart. So it's so good. You can use your favorite bread. I'll use a couple of variations. I've got a, a, a whole grain bread. All these are like a hoagie loaf. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we split those in the center. We lay those down on the grill. On one side, like that, on one side we're gonna put mustard, and that's the top side. So mustard and just your classic yellow mustard. Some people like to add mayonnaise to this. Mm -hmm. You can if you like, but lots of good mustard is wonderful. On the other side is where we're gonna start laying our meat. I've got Swiss cheese, this is a baby Swiss. So we're gonna put lots of cheese on there. The cheese really kind of holds it all together, which is nice about it. And it makes it nice and gooey. Yes, it's gotta have a gooey love. sandwich. Oh, of course. Always a gooey sandwich. Yes. To that, we're gonna put some ham down. And this is just a nice smoked ham. You can use a maple cured ham if you want, whatever flavor you like best. Then I'm gonna put some more cheese on top of that, just because I like the way it holds it all together. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, I'm gonna take some of this nice roast pork. And again, this is roasted to the point where it almost falls apart. Wow. It's nice and hot. The seasoning is really nice. It's got a little brown sugar, some cayenne, some garlic, some oregano, some thyme, paprika. Uh, really nice, actually, and comes together really nice on that once we braise it together. Yes. Then we're going to take and put some pickles on top of that. So we got to have some nice pickles. I'm and a pickle fan. So are you? We can load that baby load up. Load the pickles. <laughs> Pickle overload. Pickle overload, yes. And Love this it. is a pressed sandwich. So what we do okay. is we're going to put that back on top. And we're going to take our press and we're going to press that down. So the finished product, you really want it to be nice and pressed just like that. If you have a panini grill, you can use a panini grill with that. But uh, it works well just like this. Or a okay. cast iron skillet, mm -hmm. throw it in there, throw another skillet on top. Yeah. Like I say, it's not a fancy sandwich, and it doesn't require a lot of However, attention. However, you can get it flat. <laughs> However, you can get it flat. That's Love right. It. Okay, cool. And then you just cook on one side like that, and as it browns up, then we'll flip it over and cook it on the other side till everything kind of melts. So one other little trick is when you're doing this to make sure the ingredients are uh, at room temperature, like my pork's hot, so everything melts yeah. real fast. Love that. That's a pro tip right there pro from tip. our chef here. You'll get it nowhere else. That's right. Only right here on <laughs> WMBD with Chef Mark Schutman. And you can kind of see those ingredient lists there on your screen. Right there is the spicy brown sugar rub that Chef Mark was mentioning, which is on the pork over here. Yeah, so that's a pork shoulder. You rub that on there, and you just add a little water, a little cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. and you just braise that in the oven about 325 degrees, bring it up to about 210 degrees internally. Perfect every Love time. Love it. All right. Well, we're going to get a second sandwich constructed here. Um, we'll let Nathan talk to you a little bit about what you can expect weather-wise for your weekend. So he's going to be bringing you your full weather forecast week when we come back, and then we'll be back after that with Chef Mark Schutman.